Hello, I'm Mariana Figueiro. I'm a professor and I'm a Lighting Health Program Director at the Lighting Research Center at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. For thousands of years, light was light. Over the past decades, however, researchers have gained a better understanding of how light affects people under different circumstances. We're now able to optimize lighting for many applications such as reading, driving, displaying products, feeling secure, and many other situations. One of the most exciting new applications we're applying lighting to is improving your health and well-being. Your body has a biological clock that runs with a period close to 24 hours called circadian rhythms. It regulates when you naturally wake up, feel hungry, you're most alert, feel sleepy, and many other biological functions. For a few decades now, we at the LRC and other researchers have been working to better understand how light affects your circadian system. We can now quantify how the spectrum of light, the light level at the eye, and the timing of light exposure can be used to synchronize your circadian rhythms or shift the timing of your sleep. To entrain your circadian rhythm, get high circadian stimulus in the morning with bright bluish white light and low circadian stimulus in the evening with dim yellowish white light. A well entrained circadian rhythm allows you to sleep well at night and feel alert during the day. And the easiest way to do this is daily exposure to daylight in the morning and avoiding bright lights in the evening. But some people need a little extra help to entrain their circadian rhythms. Let's look at three groups of people whose lives can be improved by our understanding of light and health. Along with new tunable LED lighting products, these products can be programmed to automatically change the color of light from bluish white to yellowish white and to change their light output over the course of the day. Office workers are often indoors during the crucial morning period when they need high circadian stimulus, especially during the winter months. Even though you can see just fine under typical office lighting, from the perspective of your body's clock, you may actually be in complete darkness. The LRC worked with the U.S. General Service Administration and found that providing high circadian stimulus in the morning and low circadian stimulus in the evening resulted in better sleep quality and reduced depression and stress. A second population that can be helped with tunable lighting is high school students. The circadian rhythms of many adolescents are shifted up to two hours later than those of adults and young children. Despite this, many high schools start at about 7.30 in the morning. This means that many adolescents are asked to start their day an hour before they're naturally awake. Lack of sleep can result in poor performance, daytime sleepiness, and many other issues. For this reason, the American Academy of Pediatrics and the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention both recommended that adolescents start school no earlier than 8.30 a.m. However, because it can be logistically challenging to change school start times due to busing or sports schedule, and in northern areas like Scandinavia, the sun isn't even up by 8.30 a.m. in the winter. A practical alternative may be to use tunable lighting to shift the student's circadian rhythms to an earlier time. On our website, you can find lighting patterns that schools can use to install tunable lighting in classrooms to control circadian stimulus during the school day. A third application is the elderly including those with Alzheimer's disease and related dementia. Our research has showed that providing appropriate circadian stimulus throughout the day improves sleep and reduces depression and agitation. In addition to these few examples, we can also use these techniques to help night shift workers, submariners, jet lag travelers, and others. Even though higher light levels may be required in the morning, 
the power demand can be offset by color changing capabilities of LEDs. As an alternative, you can also use LED light panels close to your desk to increase the circadian stimulation. Even more savings can be realized if the new installation includes occupancy and daylighting controls. By better understanding how light impacts the human body, we're moving beyond our history of when light was just for seeing.